come along with the HRAA staff to do a habitat assessment with us. Why do we do these habitat assessments? Well, they play a crucial role in understanding and managing ecosystems, particularly for species like salmon that rely heavily on specific habitats for their survival and reproduction. Another reason why we conduct these assessments is for restoration purposes. Uh, if we see that a certain tributary is in dire need of assistance, we can add that to the top of our priority list and get out there and help that ecosystem. The first thing we do when we start a habitat assessment is we place the YSI in the water. This instrument allows us to understand the water chemistry by giving us readings on water temp, dissolved oxygen, conductivity, TDS, pH, and salinity. Next is measuring the dimensions of the brook along with noting the characteristics of it. The dimensions include bank width, wet width, and water depth. Some characteristics we typically look for are things like bank vegetation, erosion, water velocity, water flow types, and aquatic life like bait fish, mussel presence, algae, and vegetation. After completing the first assessment, we'll measure 100 meters up or down the brook and conduct another one and repeat that six more times for a total of 600 meters. This allows us to get a good grasp of what the whole tributary looks like instead of just getting a small stretch of it. Overall, habitat assessments are essential tools for understanding, managing, and conserving ecosystems, particularly for species like salmon that are highly sensitive to habitat quality and availability. By conducting these assessments, we can make informed decisions to protect and restore critical habitats, ultimately supporting the long-term health and resilience of salmon populations.